have something that make noise and I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's so annoying. Because in the past couple of days I've done several of backcountry road and now I'm gonna do some pavement. I need to put air in my tire. It's almost, it's almost good, but the uh, the pump stopped working. I don't know if the pump itself got a problem or maybe a little thing inside my electrical. I'm not sure. This seems to work. Let's charge my phone with my phone. Let's see if it takes the charge of my phone. Yeah, so it's not my... Uh, it's not my system, it's the pump itself. But you know what? With the test that I'm just doing today, uh, I think this pump's not gonna stay in my kit anymore. Uh, one hour and I'm not even ready. <laughs> I'm not even at 100% with my tire pressure. Uh, the two back, so this one is at 65%. It's supposed to be 80. This one is 80, uh, this one is 70. Uh, and 55, 55 in the front. So my back tire are uh, lower than it's supposed to be. Um, at least I was able to finish. Like I didn't have like just one side that was fully done and one side I was not. Uh, so the next gas station, I think it's uh, half an hour, 45 minutes of driving. So I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put gas and tire pressure properly over there but at least at least it's a little bit better yeah don't buy don't buy this pump no no I don't recommend I'm glad that this is not broke though this is good all right that's a bummer that didn't work as much as I hope uh, the only thing that's frustrating right now is I let the pump cool down and see if that was just overheat and then seems to work in here and I restarted and didn't work so I don't know what's going on um, the frustrating part is like now if I do have a flat tire I'm kind of more restricted you know that was my my way to putting back air inside my tire and all this but now I don't have it anymore So uh, the air at the 
uh, gas station was not working, she told me. So uh, hopefully they have another gas station in Stewart. It's not. I, I mean, it's not a huge, huge deal that I'm like a little bit down on my tire. It's just like the less pressure you have on your tire, the more you know your tire burn and like they last a little bit less longer. But it's not a huge, huge deal. Um, they should have a gas station or something else in Stewart. Glacier. I was here um, I think three summers ago, two summers ago, I don't remember anymore. Uh, I came on this uh, beautiful place. I wonder if the glacier have a big difference from uh, that time to this time. Alright, so the tire are finally done. Uh, this air pump was so, so strong. I think it is for like big truck uh, because I just turned the valve a little bit on to put some air and it was just like going super fast. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> but we've done it. the amount of snow <laughs> that they had <laughs> 1930 that's insane so uh, the town looked a little bit different than the last time I was here last time uh, it was just around COVID so everything was closed so it's nice to see people it's nice to see all the little shop be open it's great all right I'm just gonna warm up my lunch dinner leftover burrito with no vegetable. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do a grocery uh, maybe here tomorrow. But for now, I'm just gonna eat that. And after that, I think I'm gonna go to the local campground. I think that's where we're gonna sleep tonight. Uh, I'm gonna have a shower and uh, all the good thing. All right, this time I toast my burrito. All right, we do have a campsite and the guy at the uh, campground was just awesome guys. Uh, I need to talk to you. Get, let's get the campsite first. Our friends got a nicer camper than us. <laughs> so we didn't go very far. This is the entrance <laughs> and this is a little spot. So the guy at the campground was just like awesome. He's like, are you gonna do the glacier? So there's a glacier that go to the States, to Alaska, but are in Canada. So you have to go to Alaska and go back in the state, go back in Canada, sorry, to go see the glacier. And he asked me, are you gonna go see the glacier? I'm like, no, I don't have my passport. He's like, you don't need a passport? It's, it's, it's in Canada. I'm like, but we have to go in the States to go. He was like, oh yeah, there's no custom there. There's, there's no, nothing. It's just one road. I'm like, oh, but I guess I'm gonna go to check it out. <laughs> so he gave me a bunch of information, things to do in town here. Most of those things I already saw last time. Uh, 
couple of names like the guy seems to know all the local people <laughs> it's like oh you need to talk to uh, Carl to that place he's got a tour and uh, go see Carol she know everything about <laughs> Glacier <laughs> and I'm like okay cool uh, it was super funny super awesome uh, it gave me a bunch of place so I'm gonna have to go online and check everything out so maybe tomorrow guys we're gonna go see a glacier that would be awesome do we have it here on the map yeah I think uh, so there's a uh, the Alaska border once again so there's the Alaska border we have to go to the states and the actual glacier and back in Canada here so but we have to go uh, I guess I'm gonna go to Alaska. Oh. You know guys, that's my dream to go one day in Alaska. Uh, one thing that will love my van to be prepared and all gear up to go do a big tour in Alaska. So maybe that's gonna be my mini tour tomorrow. <gasps> all right guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today. I'm gonna go have a shower, a much needed shower, fill up on water, fill up on everything, have a good night of rest here and yeah. You guys are gonna see what's gonna happen in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'm gonna let you obviously with Miss Kelly. <laughs> you like it here, Kelly? It's okay. You have some bush. I'm sure you're gonna see some birds, some mouse. <laughs> At least we are in the shade. Hmm? <laughs>